Penn State football, a tradition of excellence for over 130 years. Welcome to Nittany Nation Rewind. You're about to take a journey. To a place that you know so well. Six and no, baby, Penn State back. You will find a team with talent and toughness. Tambahali with the hit. That took the Big Ten by surprise. It was like a secret that we knew. The country didn't really have a feel for it, but but we knew we, we were holding aces. They're the best in the country. I, I think we're right there with them. You will hit a bump or two along the way, but when you get to the finish line, you will find it was worth it. The roar has been restored. This is the story of an underdog turned top dog. We love haters. It motivates us. This is a story 15 years in the making. Nittany Nation Rewind starts right now. Hey, hi, hello. <laughs> We're back on your TV with some new tricks. I'm Peter Terpstra standing on a box. And I'm Jack Washer, and this is our first episode of Nittany Nation Rewind, where we take you back in time each week to relive some magical seasons and some magical moments. And first up, you guessed it, the 2005 Penn State football team. These guys won a share of the Big Ten title, but were picked near the bottom of the conference before kickoff. That didn't last long. But before we get there, we got to give you a little background. Penn State only had one winning season since 1999 entering the 2005 year. Should the Nittany Lions leave longtime coach Joe Paterno behind? Non-conference play went fine, 3-0, and and then the fun started. We're talking about the fact that this is what it is. And yet you guys and girls are here. Come on. Penn State's rough couple of years were about to come to an end. The team had Northwestern to kick off conference play. Quarterback Michael Robinson had three picks and three fumbles in the first half, but he would make up for it. I'm like, man, have faith, man, have faith. And really, I, that was blind faith. Penn State was trailing. It came down to one final drive, and the team needed a long fourth down conversion. We are praying to everything holding. And Isaac Smoko, you know, senior, it's, you know, Fourth and 15. Going over the middle for his tight end, Smoko, and he makes the catch for the first down. And with 51 seconds left, Robinson found freshman Derek Williams, a big move, which would be the winning touchdown. It still gives me goosebumps. Penn State survives on the road, 34 to 29. We got Minnesota, man. That game over, man. Next up came 18th ranked Minnesota and their All-American running back, Lawrence Maroney. That, that's red meat uh, because it's a direct threat. Maroney, who I just talked about, and he probably should have stayed in the end zone. And Penn State's defense unleashed its rage, holding the star back to just 48 yards on 16 carries. Once you see that running back start to turn on his offensive line a little bit, you know, or maybe go over to the sidelines and mouth off to the coach, you know you have more you want. And quarterback Michael Robinson introduced himself to the national stage. Oh, what a collision with Owens. And Owens got the worst of it. They heard it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, when, you, when you're at home, you just hear, oh, like, what, what was that? What was that? And you start to look at the jumbotron. Penn State rolls 44 to 14, 5 and 0 on the season, and now ready to take on the elite. You could feel the build up to Penn State's next game. Number six, Ohio State came to town. National TV, the whiteout. A rainy day tapered off, and you had a night to remember. Whenever the, the um, press box starts shaking, it's never a real comfortable feeling. That was one where the crowd was with us the entire game. You could hear them, you could feel them, uh, you felt the pressure, you felt, you know, you felt. The, the stakes were raised for it. Penn State had the 17 to 10 lead and Ohio State was trying to tie things up with one final drive. With a minute and a half left, defensive tackle Tamba Ali made one of the most important plays in Penn State history. 
Penn State wins by a touchdown, the first win over a top 10 team since 1999. That really turned the tide that season, you know, where we felt like we could, we could win it all. Goosebumps. The win gave Penn State first place in the Big Ten. Let's hear it. We told people we wanted to make a statement today, and we did. Our defense came through. 6-0, baby. Penn State back. Let's go. All right, coming up next, a finish you won't forget. The Lions had the nation's attention just in time to take a trip to the big house. Plus, remember that thing, the BCS? Coach Paterno had a playoff picture figured out way before it was fashionable. Next. For over 40 years, Joel Confer Toyota has provided the utmost customer service.